What's up everybody? I'm back for another beautiful New York day. Today I'm not in the city riding. I'm actually up north, kind of near Peekskill, Poughkeepsie, Bear Mountain, that area. Sort of where I was at in my videos about Seven Lakes. It's all the general same region. But today I met up with David Berman. He's a man of the people. He's actually a criminal defense lawyer for the people in New York City. And he's also a rider, obviously. He's on the uh, <laughs> he's on the Harley in front of me. He's got a pretty hooked up Harley that he's taken all over the place, actually. He's got stickers from Tail of the Dragon, and basically he's a rider. He's, he's a rider. And so we're just up north, hitting the twisties a little bit. Kind of a chill ride. He's going to be appearing on Beyond the Apex on Wednesday evening, actually. Not giving legal advice, but definitely going to be available for kind of a representative of, you know, the word of law uh, for a Q&A session. So if you're interested in asking some questions to a criminal defense lawyer relating to motorcycle activities, feel free to log in on Wednesday and uh, participate should be a good show I'm excited about it but yeah I just figured we could meet up today actually it was his idea to meet up today and uh, hit the twisty roads I decided I'd go ahead and record a little bit do a little moto vlog it's not every day you get to go cruise with a, a Harley guy that's leaning off his bike like <laughs> like David is but that's pretty cool and this is just a great area Actually, this is the first time I've been to Bear Mountain since since last year, actually. The weather hasn't been all that great in the beginning of the year. It's been freezing, then the virus. So this is the first time I've actually been to Bear Mountain this year. And we're already in the beginning of May, or middle of May, actually. There are a lot of uh, police out today, so we got to be careful. Not that we're really out here doing anything crazy, but there are a lot of police officers. And actually, once we get around the mountain and the hiking trails, there's probably a lot of people out hiking and walking along the side of the road. So definitely got to be careful. <laughs> Back there at the gas station, I saw a Suzuki cappuccino. I was shocked. I was just standing there. I didn't even hear it roll up actually. I, you know, I was just standing there kind of minding my business, BSing with David. And then I turned around and there was a cappuccino pulled up to the uh, to the gas pump. I had to go over and talk to the guy. And uh, he said he was in Japan for a while too. I don't know what, what he was doing in Japan. I didn't really dig too deep with this guy, but he said he bought it while he was there and uh, that he imports other cars as well. I'm not really sure again what what capacity that is but it was so cool to see a cappuccino I really wanted a cappuccino so bad before I left Japan but by the time I left in 2000 was 18 yeah 2018 when I left no 2019 when I left Suzuki cappuccinos were so dang expensive like ridiculous you know no less than 10,000 14,000 for a 90s Japanese sports car and that's pretty typical for any 90s Japanese sports car before I left Suzuki cappuccinos MR2s don't even get me started on GTRs I got my GTR I got my I bought my GTR in 2014 so it was before the the big rush I guess so I got my my Japanese JDM toy but I really wish I could have gotten a cappuccino before I came back to the US. That would have been so fun. For y'all motorcycle heads out there that don't know, know, don't know a whole lot about cars, the Suzuki Cappuccino is actually a, yeah, manufactured by Suzuki, same company that makes the bikes that you like to ride. <laughs> and uh, the motor is actually a 666 cc basically a motorcycle motor 
up under the hood of this little tiny go-kart looking car and it's turbocharged it's rear wheel drive lightweight nimble like the the epitome of fun twisty car I really wish I could have gotten one but so is life maybe someday it's just beautiful nature up here beautiful sights fresh air this road that we're taking right now it actually heads up towards uh, West Point and heading up the road that goes to West Point I think it's this one right here actually uh, heading up the road that goes to West Point you head up to this place called Storm King Mountain and holy crap that's so awesome it's just a little section of road honestly it's not that long but nice nice twisties no hairpins no like loop backs or anything like that but it's just right along the water heading up and down the mountain and definitely prime location to to get low and practice the fundamentals but now so this road that we're on just since we passed that little intersection I'm clueless at this point. I don't know what's up here. I've never actually come up here. But I'm riding all the way from Brooklyn, so generally speaking, if if I ride all the way up here, I'm gonna stop at Bear Mountain, have some fun there, go home, or go to Storm King Mountain, have some fun there, and go home. I'm not really in it for the long haul usually. So this is new to me. It looks pretty cool. Wow, that's an amazing view. I guess it's so amazing people will have to stop and take pictures. I don't blame them. <laughs> Watching Dave lean over on his bike the way he does, that's a trip. <laughs> you don't see that very often. trying to eat healthy lately I moved into this apartment I'm starting to cook a lot more I don't know I just feel kind of revitalized I guess with a couple different habits and hobbies but I'm definitely cooking a lot more and trying to save some cash but in addition to that this whole pandemic thing is really I don't know it's kind of demotivated me to even like go out and do anything whether that be walking or running or whatever physical activity I'm just been lazy as a I've just been lazy and at least if I cook for myself I can try and cook healthy or put together healthy things instead of eating junk food I still drink but that's just something I'm not giving up anytime soon but yeah I definitely have tried to lately just eat a little bit more healthy and, and be responsible especially since I'm not as active as I usually am oh yeah so I also wanted to tell you guys that I made a not a spontaneous not a impulse buy purchase but kind of a random investment <laughs> this past week I've been thinking about it for a long time, researching prices and brands and features and all these other different things. And finally slapped the table and purchased a electric skateboard, electric longboard on Amazon. Uh, it's a Team G H2O, H20. And like supposedly it gets up to like 22 miles an hour and has like 20 miles range or something like that 18 miles range something like that and I've really always wanted something like this it's just 
Oh, yeah, he's stopping. Uh, it's just, I had an unfortunate accident on a regular longboard at one point in my life, bombing down a hill and having to bail out at the last minute. I kind of hurt my shoulder, so I put longboards out of my mind for quite some time. Now that I'm in New York City, though, there are other dangers like cars and potholes and shit like that, but... This is a nice little area. Got a public park. Got some greenery. Got some flags. Some neat little houses. Oh, yep, yeah, won't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> when we were back there at that store, <laughs> there was some lady in a car, I think. I didn't even turn around to look at her ass. But some lady in a car, she's like, Hey! Hey, yo! Let me get your phone! <laughs> like, let me get your phone? I don't know if she was trying to say, Let me get your cell phone? Or let me get your phone number? Or what? David thought she was saying something about his boots. <laughs> but then we didn't pay her any mind. And she's like, Ah, oh, never mind. They just whack. Like, damn. Got some hostile peoples up here. In whatever city this is. I did not give her my phone, so I am whack. So be it. At this point, we are on our way to get something to eat. I'm hoping uh, we can find something good that's still open. And I hope we don't hit something like he had said something about Burger King. I'm not really trying to have Burger King, but I guess if I have to, I can try to eat something semi decently healthy in a little bit. Maybe like a chicken sandwich. Even though they smother it with mayo, I do love some chicken. All you people that are on your keto diets and buy chicken sandwiches from any fast food joint and throw the buns away, you're all terrible people. I don't understand how you can possibly do that. If I pay that much money for some crappy chicken sandwich, you best bet I'm eating that entire crappy chicken sandwich. No tossing away buns for me. <laughs> the Hudson Hornet. Big boys toys, Kawasaki baby. <laughs> uh, 193 and they even got a dinosaur man we should have stopped there to head over the mountain, find a gas station. And after gas, who knows what we do. Jim Connor Josh over the mountain, Jim Connor Josh over the mountain, Jim Connor Josh over the mountain. Which nobody can deny. Well, I know we're not anywhere near being done with our little trip up north here, but 
I'm gonna end this video now because I don't think we're gonna be killing any twisties. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. And I'm pretty sure my battery is not gonna last until the end of the trip anyway. So I'm gonna end this here. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it was at least mildly entertaining. I know that we didn't do anything crazy on this trip, but sometimes it's just nice to get out and cruise and see the sights. I'm really happy to actually find in twisty roads and and good places to go stop and BS in northern New York. When I first got to the city, I was a little bummed out the fact that I was in this concrete jungle and couldn't really like open up my motorcycle and and have fun on the, the open road, but it turns out it, it's not that far away from the city, honestly. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video, the thumbs up. You know, somebody told me just recently that the way the algorithm works, the matrix works, whatever works on YouTube, if you give a thumbs up on my video, there's a chance that my channel gets shown in searches. I would really appreciate getting seen more in searches. So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. I don't always just do simple cruise videos. Sometimes I'm at the track or eating ramen or reviewing products. I try to put out a wide range of entertaining content for you guys. Um, Wednesday, eight o'clock, every week, 8 p.m. Beyond the Apex, I do a live YouTube show on various motorcycle topics and then some. It's been it's been just motorcycle stuff so far, but I'm a car guy too, so I'm definitely open to talk about cars and talk about my project as far as that's concerned. Um, you guys take it easy. Be safe out here. Stay healthy. Don't do anything crazy to get yourself stuck in a hospital. This is not the time. And as I always say, leave this world better than you found it. Take it easy.